Holy Barracuda bait, Batman. This is Captain Dave of Captain Dave Sport Fishing Charters, Jacksonville, Florida. But guess what? On a gloomy day when it's pouring rain outside, you know what I really enjoy? Talking knives. I don't watch television. Just so you guys know. I watch YouTube. Uh, maybe some Clint Eastwood old spaghetti westerns on Amazon. TV. I have a Roku TV. I got a smart TV. And that's what I watch. I watch YouTube. I have to tell, have people tell me of things that go on. Like the, I just learned from yesterday that President Bush number one finally passed. Well, I didn't know that because I didn't see it on YouTube yet. I watch YouTube because I am YouTube. It's what I do. I fish and I do YouTube. This video is going to be about a Dave pocket dump. Well, I don't do pockets. I do tactical build, I guess you could call it. I guess we'll first start about what Dave's most pride and joy. So this is not going to be a pocket dump. That's what a lot of these other guys call it. We're going to call it Dave's EDC. And what does Dave wear on his belt? I'm doing this because I feel like it. So that right there, I call that Barracuda bait. And I am going to take it to an engraver. Uh, eventually. Let me wipe it off. I can't stand it being smudged. This is a Spyderco police in 100% stainless steel. This is one of my, I guess you could say, when I'm feeling executive, when I'll be carrying this. And this is an older model because the newer models have all these holes here so you can switch the pocket clip around. I didn't want that. I find those holes distracting. Distracting from the slick barracuda bait that you control this knife behind the boat. So this is a police model of a Spyderco. So now this is a little older version. I don't know exactly what year. Absolutely don't even touch the blade. <laughs> it's so scary. I just love the fact that it's just th thin, but solid, weighty. I'll show you what I do. When I do transport this beautiful Barracuda bait, also known as Spider Co. Police. Here's how I carry it. I've got one of these. Well, if I had my belt here, I would actually, you got to find the through hole and you got to kind of find it. Which one is it right here? So you put this on your belt, slide her on in like that. And that's how I would carry it. I don't want keys. I don't want nothing touching this knife. And I can't remember, what do they call these things? Stealth gear. That's a stealth gear. And that's stealthy, all right. Wouldn't you say? Okay, so let's move on. So, that's something I would wear on my belt. And it is, I call it the Barracuda bait because it is shiny. All right, well, I did a video about this the other day. This is the coolest clip holster for a Leatherman adjustable S snaps in right adjustable for 
your Leatherman. This is a Leatherman wingman. Goes on here, pre-adjusted. See the adjustment? Goes in here, nice and tight. Doesn't wobble around. So there you go. That's an EDC item. That's called a side tech. Side tack, side tech. Actually, it's a magazine holder, folks. But do I wear either one of these things every day? Do I EDC this every day? No. So what are the other things that I would keep with me as a EDC? Because you know EDC changes. We all know that. So this ain't a pocket dump, but this is a what does Dave wear on his belt? And I wear a lot of stuff on my belt. I never feel comfortable without blades. I'm sure there's a bunch of you out there like that. So then I have this, and I got this from my good friend at Popov Leather Products in British Columbia, Canada. They made my wallet right here. Made my wallet for me. Keep my business card right there. It's got some nice patina on it already. It's all darkened up. Beautiful, simple, minimalist. So I went straight back to pop off leather. I got my pocket tools and more. Fisher brass space pen right here. Just one of them. There you go. Awesome, awesome. Go to ttpockettools.com. ttpockettools.com. This doesn't go in there. And there you've got a beautiful brass Fisher Space Pen writing utensil. And I'm talking quality, folks. 100%. I keep this in here. <coughs> Excuse me. But I bet you can't wait to see what I keep in here. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. This is my Made in USA Kershaw. So, I saw this little beauty. I've seen it before, and then I saw it on sale, and I said, that needs to go in here. This is like aluminum powder coated or something. It's got the finest, nice texture. Take a look at that. I don't even know what the, what model number this is. I don't even really care. If you want to know, I'll put it in the video description if I can look it up, if I can remember. But uh, here's what I love about this little tiny belt clipped pocket folder. Oh yeah! I'm not big into being a flipping kind of guy. Some of these YouTube channels, like Blade HQ, flip, flip, flip. I'm not that big of a folding guy. They will take something like this, and in the video, they will flip that thing 50 times. I don't want to wear it out. I don't want to wear it out. So I'm not going to sit there flipping and flipping and flipping. Okay, but that is one beautiful little pocket knife, isn't it? You push the red button down here. Oh, God, does that come out fast. Can you see that with the human eye, folks? Can you see it? And, ah, oh, God, dang. So that's another one of my possible EDC everyday carry, but not every day. And it goes in my beautiful pop-off leather pouch. Now, let's start getting into some of the stuff that I literally carry every single day of the week, seven days a week. You want to go there? Let's go there. My Spider Co Rescue. You might have seen this in another video. Yes, you did. Because I did another video and this made a made a special appearance but here we go you got this big thumb hole you got this bridge going across the top of it 
and wha-bam! Oh my God, I had to use this to cut my anchor loose the other day when we were when we were at the jetties anchored up, me and some customers. This is what I cut it with. And that god dang anchor line was was tighter than Dick's hat band. And all I did was go whoop and it popped that three stranded nylon. So I never go anywhere really without this. Spider Co. Emergency rescue tool in all tactical black. Spell it goes in my plier pocket. That's on my AFCO Blue Water shorts. Because I am a shorts wearing kind of guy 24 7, 12 months a year. I always tell everybody my long pants are called Grundon slicker pants in the wintertime. Here I am. I'm, I'm actually at the urologist. Been doing a lot of going to the urologist lately. You know, that old prostate issues. But I'm in the doctor's, or I'm sitting outside the urologist's office the other day, and I got a guy sits down from me, and it was about 30 degrees in the morning at 7 a.m. And the guy sits down and says, boy, I'll tell you, you must be from, like, New England or something. I said, no, not really. What do you what What do you mean? He goes, you're in here wearing shorts. It's 30 degrees outside. And I went, yeah, outside. It's warm in here. And then I'll leave here and I'll go into my warm truck. And from my warm truck, I'll go into my warm house. Get over it. All right, what else do, what does Dave definitely wear on his 5'11 belt? Every single day. This is still in the pocket. These don't get worn every day. Not every day. Special occasions. If I'm, like, say, going on another person's boat, if somebody takes me fishing, which is such a freaking rarity, but, boy, I'll tell you, everybody wants me to, go, wants me to take them. You will not believe how many times I get well, hey man, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you're just not doing anything one day, and um, you know, and uh, you need like a hand, you know, uh, you know, running the anchor, or, you know, you need me to pick up some shrimp. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I'll go with you. And I mean, these are goddamn near total strangers. You know what I call that, dude? I call that a fishing charter because you won't have the right shit. You won't know what to do. And I'm going to have to supply you with everything. But I do know people who kind of have everything, and they still don't invite me to go fishing. <sighs> All right. I would take my Leatherman if, where the, if I was going on somebody else's boat. Reason being is I would have cutters, I'd have pliers at my disposal, Constantly. All right. So there we go. That's the reason I would carry that. What would I keep with me no matter what? I mean, excluding these things. What goes with me every... When I go to Walmart, what the hell goes with me? When I go get gas in my boat, what goes with me? Okay. Right there. And how many times do I have to tell you about that? The more Eldris. Ba bam yep with the spider co g clip mod the best mod you will ever do to a neck knife in your life is put that on the mora eldris and it's not like i got just one I mean, come on, I got backup because what do we know about spares? My last video just the other day was all about having spare boots, spare anchors, spare chain, spare chain guard. Everything's about spares in this world. This goes with me no matter what, folks. Then, what else goes with me? Olight MR2 Warrior. Badass sheath. You've seen it before. I've discussed this before. But there is a moral to the end of this video. So there's the old 
Olight M2R Warrior. Really, really strong. I think it's up to like 1,200 lumens or something. It's like ridiculous. All right. What makes this great is this was an option. This isn't even an Olight. This was an option to get. So these two things plus this ride with me every day. Now, what else always goes with me is something, these clips, these are called Zach clips. That goes on this belt and what's included, I'll save this for, I'll save that for a second. Okay, I got two little screwdriver things here. Then, of course, I've got another one of my pocket tools and more, ttpockettools.com. I got a separate one right here. Because you never, you never could use, I mean, come on, more than one writing utensil? Why not? Then I have over here, you undo this. And let's pour them out right here so you can kind of see them on something. So then you pour these out. That's hollow. You could stick you could stick like a rolled up 20 in there. But instead of doing that, I do this. I carry a couple like rigging needles. These are like rigging needles. If I ever had to kind of sew something real fast, that's not super pointy, but it's pointy enough. Then I have... Another one, this one's kind of blunt. This one's not that pointy. I carry those. And then here is two super pointy little like toothpicks. And everything fits wonderfully right in here. So that stays on my keychain. But is this actually my keychain? No, it's not. This is just my accessories chain. Because what do I keep on here? On this? This right here is so sweet. This is nothing but a $10 marbles camp knife. Modeled after like the US Army issued knife. It's a China knife. It's 10 bucks. It's super wicked sharp. Super wicked. And I'll show you how wicked. See that finger right there? This blade came down on that finger. And I own this, and you can see it on my Amazon review. I own this for three seconds. And it already took my knuckle right there. And I mean, it buried into my finger. But what you got is a very nice work nut, work blade. Then you've got your can opener. Then you've got your bottle opener slash screwdriver. All right. And then you've got your awe. That's all I need. And the wonderful thing about it is everything snaps shut good. Look at that big loop on there. It's heavy. It's well made for being a china knife. Marbles is, is not a real high dollar item. Because I've got another one. Here it is. The marbles for every hour in the outdoors camp combo and here's the neat thing about it it came with a spork p38 to open cans or yeah to open cans so i keep this on the boat on the little carabiner because i do open cans from time to time and i bought two of them because it's just a wonderful $10 combo here. See, the Marbles Camp Combo includes the camper's best friend, which features a mini carabiner. 
can opener, bottle opener, and spork, as well as an all-metal GI utility knife. They are the perfect tool for the survivalist and outdoorsman. Uh-oh. Oh my god, no. I have to I have to let marbles know. You cannot say outdoors man. Can't say that no more. I got to let marbles know. There there'll probably be attacked uh, you know attacked by some social justice warrior, purple-haired, you know, 20-year-old, 300-pound woman. An outdoors person. Survivalist and outdoors person. $10. And then, last but not least, I carry the same Zach tool. Tactical police-grade metal HD heavy-duty belt clip. And it comes with a, a key ring. I carry my truck keys and everything separately. So this, this goes on here like this. That goes, this goes more on my side. This goes more on the back. This goes on my belt. This goes on my belt. This goes in my pocket. Holy shit is probably what you're saying. Actually, here's the real situation, folks. I will have the links for all of this below. And how, you know, look at my uh, Jetty Wolf Tools of the Trade. I'll show you exactly how to put on all these G clips on Mora sheaths. All right. But the reason I'm even going through this is do you realize how many wonderful Christmas presents there is here? You got this. It's on my Amazon Tools of the Trade items page, reviewed by Dave. I have these Top Q flex knives on there. Great little bait knife, fillet knife, fishing knife to have on your side. Remember, be a knife guy. Don't be a scissors guy when it comes to cutting braid. Screw them scissors. All right. I have this and its cohort with the silver blade on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. I've got three different O-lights on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. I have the more Eldris on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. And the G-Clip, I have the Zach Tool Law Enforcement Super HD keychain carrying belt clip mechanism. And what else do I have? I believe there's the Marbles Camp Knife on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. So the reason I'm even bringing all this up is you could help me by getting some of your Christmas presents for any one of these items. You help me do more videos and video reviews, kind of like this. I got this thing and did the review of it via Amazon 50 cents, quarter, three cents, four cents. And I'm going to put this out there because a lot of other people do this. If you've got something that you don't use and you don't care about and you just never mess with anymore, knives, reels, lures, you can send that to me. You can send it to me and I'll review it. I'll make a video about your donation to the cause. Instead of this, I have to purchase things. You could send me something, but let's come on, make it interesting at least. All right, knives, reels, stuff you don't want, you're not using. But I mean, if you have a tool chest full of old knives and you don't care about them, you're not using them. 
Well, if you want to package them up and send them in for a little video review, we can do that right here on Captain Dave Sport Fishing Charters YouTube channel. So there you go. Links below. And one I one things I highly, highly recommend for the average Joe is the Eldris with the G clip on the back. Put the G clip on the back of your Eldris and turn some hippie god dang running through the woods naked neck knife dude into a the way real men like to carry it on their belt. Probably women too. But then again, women running naked through the woods with their neck knife couldn't be sexier. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.